I mean, we all knew that he was guilty, and he knew it too. And, and it was, it's about time he, he admitted it. Family and friends of Ashlyn Mike comfort each other outside of federal court. Just hours ago, 28-year-old Tom Begay Jr., shackled at his wrists and ankles, walked into a courtroom and admitted he kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and murdered Gary Mike's 11-year-old daughter. There are days when I, I couldn't get up from bed. Begay today admitted to each and every horrific detail of that day in May 2016, how he tricked 11-year-old Ashlyn and her younger brother to getting into his van for a ride home. Instead, he took them to a remote area near the Shiprock Monument, forced Ashlyn to get out, sexually assaulted her, then beat her to death with a tire iron. Begay seemed unremorseful today, as many of Ashlyn's loved ones sobbed openly in court. To hear what happened to her, you know, what can we say? I mean, we couldn't hold back. I couldn't hold back my tears. It's, it's, just, it's just awful. Mike's relieved Begay took this deal so his family could avoid the heartache of a trial. Yes, because uh, it would have drugged my family through all this uh, witnessing and, and, mm -hmm. and that sort of thing that I don't want my children to go through. Again, Begay will spend the rest of his life in prison without parole. The Navajo Nation does not believe in the death penalty. Live in Albuquerque tonight, Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News. After Ashland's kidnapping, the Navajo Nation started to push to expand the Amber Alert system onto tribal land. Arizona Senator John McCain proposed a bill to do that. The bill has passed in the Senate. The full Senate is expected to vote on it soon.